Welcome back. In this sequence what we're going to do is to walk you through um, how to produce a toolpath routine uh, using our main software for 2D cutting which is Endroute. Now on the um, machine hooked up to the CNC machine uh, Endroute should be um, available on the desktop. So we double click that to launch it and that brings us to the welcome screen through here. Now we need to um, first set um, the material size so we're going to start a new job and the first thing um, it's going to do is it's going to ask us to define the plate which is another um, way of uh, describing to define the material. Now we're going to be using um, a half sheet of um, plywood so we're going to add in 1200 by 1200 millimeters and the thickness of the ply we're using is 17 and we go OK. So there's our material um, sitting on the CNC bed and um, if you've seen the other videos and um, we're discussing the origin point that's the origin point there and it's roughly co uh, sits next to the tool uh, tip-off sensor so that's how it sits on the CNC machine. Now we're going to input um, our pre-made file which is going to be um, the sample box and um, EndRoute works best, in fact really the only way it works is through DXF uh, format imports and it's very important that the DXF file you've created um, both has enclosed shapes um, and also that there is no um, three-dimensional information, that it is purely just X and Y information, pure 2D. So here we go, we go File, and we're going to import our file. Here it is, it's going to open up the uh, dialog box. Let's just go to our computer. I've saved it on the US disk here. And here it is, it's called Training 675mm um, Sample Box. So we'll just open that and it'll drop it in um, onto the, the workspace pretty much um, anywhere in the universe. Now the scroll wheel will allow you to scroll and zoom back and forth and sometimes uh, depending on where you've actually drawn uh, your geometry in space it could be way over here for example. So if you don't see your file immediately or the material then um, just zoom um, uh, using the scroll wheel. Now as you notice we've um, also kept um, in the geometry that we've set up um, in our source file the extents of the material that we're going to use. Now this is very important for positioning it accurately onto our material plate through here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight first um, my geometry and then I'm going to push uh, the F2 function key and that will bring up this precision input center. What we want to do is we want to highlight the move tab just make sure that we've highlighted the, the bottom corner as the, the target for the moving and we're going to set the location X and Y as 0, 0 which is the origin point. Go OK and then you notice it's dropped our geometry directly on top of our material and the origin point. Now we can close that off and we can zoom uh, to the extents of the plate through the buttons up here and there you can see our job sitting on the CNC. Now we no longer need that external geometry so we're going to delete it. Um, it's important that we do because um, it will confuse um, what's an inside shape and what's an outside shape um, as we go through and, and start to do the tool paths. Now We'll just get rid of that. So here we go, there's our, our shapes sitting ready to be cut. So this job um, really has a bit of everything and it's designed in a way to 
um, expose you to most of the functionality and, and different um, cutting and routing routines. So you can see we've got some big shapes through here, we've got some inside shapes through here, we've got some drill holes here, we've got um, a simple rebate or, or rebate using a routing function and also we're going to use a small tool here to cut those um, inside corners out.